Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, we're still talking about City Shaper, but we're gonna be talking about your bot and the medium motor. So if you wanna see this, stay with me. Okay guys, so I never wanna be in a position to tell you what you have to do but with your FLO robot, if you're not using some type of medium motor or large motor for lifting or grabbing, it's gonna be really tough to be successful in your competition. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is just show you how you can use this medium motor with degrees to help you be more accurate on lowering it to a certain point. So let's go ahead and go to the table and show you how this is gonna work with just the degrees for this medium motor. Okay, so here I have my educator bot and I have this media motor attachment here. So for a first Lego League robot game uh, mission, let's say I want to use this and I want to be able to program it to come down a certain amount. And, you know, for whatever mission you might be doing um, for your robot game. So what we're going to do is, in order to make this easy to program, we're going to go over here and go to port view. Now there's all your sensors, the one, two, three, four, but we're going to go up to our motors. So since my media motor is plugged into A, I'm on it right now. <clears throat> so in the up position, let's say I want my media motor to come down to right there. So all I do now is look at my degrees and in the program, for that medium motor block, I'll have it come down negative 110 degrees. And it won't matter at what speed um, this motor is coming at, it'll just only come down to 110 degrees. Now there's definite pluses and minuses with this type of method here. The, the definite pros or the reason this is good is I don't have to mess around with time. Um, if I want it to come down and stop at a certain height, then I'll, you know, it'll come down to that height. Seconds, you're, you know, you're gonna have to guess a million different times possibly in order to get this right. The one downside about this could be that if this somehow gets stuck on something and it doesn't complete that 100, no, just change. When it, if it, whatever degrees you have it at, if it comes down and it doesn't complete that amount of degrees, it will basically freeze up everything else in the program. So that's why maybe you've noticed that when you're on degrees and it, it just stops your program, it's because this was not allowed to complete whatever it was doing for degrees. Now the other hand for time, it's better because if it just comes down and gets stuck and you, you, know, you left it for one second or two seconds, it will finish and be able to do everything else in your program. Um, so there's the good and the bad um, with degrees. So let me go ahead and do a mission so you can see how this would look um, with this robot. Okay, so let's say I'm doing a treehouse mission and I want this medium motor to deliver this blue unit to the treehouse. So I have my robot set up like here and it's all the way back. So what I wanna do then is just kind of experiment and then bring have this um, arm attachment come down, deliver it, and all I'll do now is look on my brick and go, okay, I'll drop that negative 83 degrees. Now, again, um, when you're thinking about your motor speed, you'll have to think, okay, do I want it to be forceful? Do I make you know, my motor speed high? Do I want it to go slow and you know, be very delicate with it? And then you, know, you take it from there. But as far as just knowing how far to drop this uh, attachment, this medium motor attachment, that's where I'll go into the program and just put negative 83 degrees. So let me go to the program and show you how that works and then come back and actually deliver that unit with the robot. Okay, so now that we know the degrees that this uh, medium motor needs to drop, I'm going to go ahead and go to the program, put that in and then take it to the board to test it. Okay, so this program was so short I would have used my computer program to uh, record this off my laptop, but 
I'm just using my phone here. So there's the forward. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to make a right turn. I'm going to head forward towards the tree. And there is that 83 degrees. So I'm going to have it at negative 20% just so it, it comes down. And then those are my 83 degrees to drop off that blue unit. So I'm going to download this and let's head to the tree. All right, everybody, the program is downloaded. The attachment is filled with this blue unit. So like the program said, we're just going to go forward, make a right at the crane, head towards the tree, drop this off. I did add a gate lift just so that the robot's not touching the model. And let's... Okay, so that's just how we're gonna use those degrees in the media motor just to know how far down to drop this arm, okay? So just trying to simplify it for those of you that are having issues with programming and just knowing how far down you know, your attachment for your media motor would need to go, that's the way I would use it for your program. Okay guys, so if you're using a medium motor, that's just one way, and it's the way I would use this if you're dropping it or lifting it and you want it to stop at a certain point, especially with the elevator or the treehouse, if you want it to just stop at a certain level, that's just one way you can be sure that it won't go past a certain point or go too low. So hopefully that was helpful in your programming of this medium motor. Okay, guys, hopefully you're still having fun with City Shaper. I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.